It sure is cold out here. Well, it's a good thing that we have lots of energy to keep us warm in the winter time. Now, electricity arrives from outside sources. It arrives at our home and we can use a couple of tools, our electricity meter and a stopwatch to find out how much energy our household is using and more importantly, how much of a difference it makes when you start turning on or leaving on all those appliances. This is gonna be our citizen science experiment. This is an electricity meter and it keeps track of how much energy you're using in your home. Now, what we're going to do is a little experiment. We've turned off as many appliances as possible in the house and we're going to measure the rate at which we're using electricity. All you need to do this is a stopwatch. So we want to keep track of how long it takes for this dial to go around one time. There's a little indicator on here that we'll be able to use to keep track. The faster the disc spins, the more electricity is flowing through your house. Kind of like a windmill. The faster a windmill spins, the more wind is flowing through. Now we're going to time how long it takes for the disc to spin completely one time around. We'll then compare this value to the rate of spin once we turn on a whole bunch of appliances in the house which are going to use a whole bunch of electricity. And there we go, 27 seconds. Now you want to get some uh, big crisp tubes for this. These two ones are perfect because they're really easy to knock over. Cool. Mm -hmm. And stick this outer ring, then get the disc and we'll put it back on the We've just turned on the light, the TV, the dishwasher, the dryer, and the CD player. Let's see how long it takes the disc to spin around now. Four seconds, wow, that's a huge difference in power consumption. We're really using a lot more electricity now that those appliances are turned on. Now there are all kinds of great ways that you can make a difference for our environment. You can shop and buy local produce at your grocery store. You can look at greener ways of travel. Another way, you can start with your own wardrobe. Looking at cotton materials, for example, these take a long time to dry in the dryer. Remember how when we did that experiment, when we turned on the dryer, the wheel was just spinning around? A much better alternative is to go with lighter fabrics that are quick dry or that you don't even have to put in the dryer at all. And then of course, there is the reduce, reuse, and recycle. Secondhand stores, they're always willing to accept your old clothing, so drop them off there, and you never know, you might find a find of your own.